Well, howdy. Welcome back to another episode of Lakeway Daily. My name is Daniel. I'm so thankful that you are spending some time for this time of prayer and encouragement and focus. Today, I want to continue our sort of mini-series that we've been talking about, different prayer practices. Uh, if, if you're like me, you've been praying a lot during uh, this pandemic that we're experiencing, and with all the different things to pray for, sometimes it's hard to keep focused on what we should be praying for. So we've talked about praying through the Lord's Prayer. We talked last week about the five-finger prayer. Today, I want to give you the prayer practice that you might be very familiar with, but it has completely transformed my prayer life since I learned about it sometime in high school. I would say since then, probably 95% of my prayers have followed this pattern, and so I think it's going to be a blessing for you. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a simple way to teach this sort of prayer to your children, so you might want to stick around for that. But this prayer practice that's transformed my prayer life is called the ACTS prayer, A-C-T-S prayer. And it's a really easy way to keep your prayers focused, and each letter of the word ACTS stands for a different subject. So the A stands for adoration, adoration. And this is a time where you pour out praises to God, where you say, God, you are mighty, you are strong, you are bigger than my circumstances, you are in control of the world, and I praise you for it. A good way to think about it is that if you've ever written a love letter, and in that love letter, you you listed all the qualities of your beloved. I love your hair, I love your smile, I love your sense of humor, and you think through all the different qualities of that person, and you tell them that. That's a way of adoring them. So this A part is your love letter to God. Just start your prayer by listing all the great things, all the mighty things that he has done in your life and give him praise for it. Then you move into the C. And C stands for confession. This is a time where you pour out your sins on God. In 1 John 1 uh, verse 9, it says this, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and he is just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But it all starts with that confession of sin. So this is a time not just to say, God, forgive me of all of my sins, but to really dive deep, to talk about the things that you've done that you knew you shouldn't do, to ask God to reveal some maybe secret or some darkened or some hidden sins that you do. Just spend some time in reflection after you've reflected on how holy God is. Reflect on how unholy you are and ask for forgiveness. And know that by the blood of Jesus Christ, he's going to give it every single time. The T then stands for thanksgiving. You've just declared who God is. You've just asked for forgiveness knowing that you have it. And now is the time to give him thanks. Give him thanks for salvation. We talked yesterday about gratitude. Give him thanks for all the good things in your life. If you have food on the table... If you have a roof over your head, if you have family that loves you, then you have something to be thankful for. This is a time to thank God because every good and perfect gift comes from him. And then at the end, you end with the S, which is supplication. And this is a time to ask God for help personally, ask God for help in the world, Go through the prayer list that you have of people that you know you're supposed to be praying for. I know for me so often I start my prayers with this, but, but the Acts prayer helps us to put it at the very end to make sure that we're praising God, asking for forgiveness, thanking Him, and then saying, because you are so powerful, I, I know you can do these things, and God, I need you to do them. So that's the Acts prayer, but there's some pretty big kind of confusing words in there. Adoration, supplication are not words that you would probably teach to a second grader. So there's an adaptation of the Acts prayer called the PATH prayer, P-A-T-H. And this is a wonderful way that, again, if you're teaching your kids to pray, to teach them. Because if you are a parent, you've kind of become a homeschool teacher. And now that your kids are away from church as well, you're getting to model what we hope is happening. That we believe the home, not the church, is the primary place that disciples are made. That if you are a parent and you have a children, that means that you are being a steward of them. They are God's kids and you get to have them for a time. And so you need to be teaching them the ways of God. And this is a great way to teach them how to pray. P-A-T-H. The P stands for praise, just like adoration. Have the child list all the different ways that they want to praise God. The A stands for apologize, confession. What do you need to apologize for? What do you need to say, I'm sorry, God, that I did this? The T stands for thank. Thank you, God, for being so good and for loving me and for giving me a family. And then the H stands for help, just like supplication. 
Make a list of all the people that need help. Make a list of all the things that you need help for in your own life. This is a great way to help your children center their prayers, focus their prayers. I promise parents, your children are beginning to pray. They don't understand what's going on in our world right now either. And so you have trained them. You've done a great job to teach them to cry out to God. They're doing that. And this is just a great way to help them focus, to help navigate them, to help make sure that they're praying for the right things and to love them in the process. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'd love it if you liked it and shared it wherever you're watching it. And let me know if you'd like to see videos on a particular topic. I'd love to keep these relevant, to keep these what you need for encouragement and focus as we journey through this experience in the world together. Y'all stay safe. God bless.